What did you learn after making the donut? Because everyone starts with a donut, but often after finishing it, you just find yourself bouncing from random video to video. You may pick up some useful tips here and there, but there is no structure, which means you waste a lot of time. There's the obvious solution to buy a course, but I have something better and it's free. I compiled a list of the 36 best tutorials on YouTube that will take you through each of the major disciplines of Blender. My recommendations follow the 80-20 rule. Basically, 80% of your work will be accomplished by 20% of your skill set. So these tutorials focus on helping you master the 20% of your skill set that really matters. And once that's done, you'll be able to choose your specialty because you'll have a feel for what you like and don't like. For each major skill, I recommend three different levels of tutorials. That way you'll still be able to learn something even as you become more advanced. I tried to map these out like a course, so that way they build on each other, but this is not perfect. So if you know of any tutorials or courses that I either left out or forgot, please leave those in the comments so people can still find them. The first skill set is modeling. This is an exciting one. I have 10 different modeling tutorials that are gonna teach you both the technical side of Blender, but also how to think like an artist. For level one, I have three beginner tutorials. All of these are from the same channel, Polygon Runway. One key thing I also hope to do with this video is to give you a network of professional channels to fill out your subscription feed. I mean, the individual videos that I'm going to show you are awesome, but each of these channels produce other great content that's worth your time. All right, for level one, you have five Blender models in seven minutes by Polygon Runway. It does a really great job at teaching the basics of circular modeling and the most simple functions of the modifier stack. The second level one tutorial is Learn Blender Hard Surface Modeling in Five Minutes, also by Polygon Runway. This one is the perfect introduction to hard surface modeling, and it gives a great starting point to work off of for the rest of these tutorials. The final level one tutorial is a bicycle modeling tutorial that does a great job putting into practice everything you learned already and letting you make something really cool. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to level two. In level two, you'll learn a more comprehensive way of hard surface modeling and get really familiar with booleans. First up is a theory tutorial by Josh Gambrell. This tutorial teaches a ton of fundamental modeling concepts like the 70-30 rule, which explains when to add detail and when to keep things more simplistic. To build on that, you can watch Become a Boolean Pro in Blender, also by Josh Gambrell, to learn the more technical side of working with booleans. It also gives really good advice on how to hard surface model that's going to serve you throughout your whole 3D journey. Also, like I just said a minute ago, all of these channels have other awesome videos. For instance, if you find you really like hard surface modeling, Josh Gambrell's channel is kind of the go-to for that. So make sure you explore each of these channels and see which one interests you. Our final level two modeling video is by CG Boost. This just teaches some really great modeling strategies and tools that are gonna save you a ton of time as you continue to learn. Finally, let's move on to the most advanced level of modeling, level three. Don't feel daunted though. These are still beginner and early intermediate tutorials. Even though the material is a little bit more advanced than the others, it's still clear and well explained. For level three, I have a mini course by Curtis Holt. He takes you through modeling two robotic arms. One is form over function and the other is function over form. He explains the differences between the two and how you should think differently about your model depending on what you're going for. This series is called Robotic Design. Also, everything that's mentioned in this video is linked in the description down below and also through a playlist that I made so you can find everything easily. This video also took a lot of time and research to put together, so if any of these tutorials spark your interest at all, you should drop a like. I appreciate it. All right, let's move on to texturing. I have eight different tutorials for texturing that are going to take you through both the UV and procedural workflow. The first one is by a creator I'm sure you all know. It's Blender Guru's Blender Texturing for Beginners. Even though it's only one video, it's basically a mini course. It's almost two hours of super high quality content that takes you all the way from a level one in the beginning to a level three at the end. If you can only watch one of these tutorials, I'd watch this one. I can't recommend it enough. Second is a procedural tutorial by Ryan King Art. It takes you through creating a worn metal painted material. Procedural materials are really powerful and Ryan does a great job taking you through the full process. Even though the procedural workflow can be really complicated, he does a great job condensing it down into something that's really easy to understand. Thirdly, I'm gonna throw out my own tutorial, product texturing and blender. I may be biased, but I provide a free model to texture on, free 6K textures, 
and take you through the full process. Feel free to skip this one if it's not your speed, but you should definitely give it a shot. All right, let's move up to level two. In level two, you'll learn how to create textures that fill out environments super quickly, and also how to implement the most important aspects of realism, like imperfections. The first one is by CG Boost. It teaches you how to create image textures with depth, that are perfect for filling out large environments. Your computer typically can't handle hundreds of thousands of models, so using these high quality images is a perfect alternative. You generally maintain the same quality in the final render, but you get to add way more detail because of all the computing power that you're saving. Second, we've got this tutorial by Jamie Dunbar. It takes you through the full process of making realistic procedural materials by adding imperfections. It's really easy to understand and I would highly recommend it. Finally, the last level two tutorial is by Riley b 3 d I remember the first time I ever watched this one, I was just blown away. It's really concise and it only teaches you one thing, which is how to make edge masks in Blender. This is something I use all the time, and this tutorial is put together like a feature film. It's crazy. You won't understand what I'm talking about until you watch it. It's got some super valuable information. It's a fantastic tutorial. All right, let's move up to level three, advanced texturing. I found two great tutorials that teach more advanced texturing methods in Blender. First is a tutorial by Max Hay. It puts into practice the edge masks that you learned from the last tutorial and shows you how to add edge wear and grunge to your materials. I don't think I can overstate how important this concept is because of that well thought out imperfections, realism is almost impossible. And second, we have another Ryan King art tutorial, this one about mapping and edge wear. It does a great job at integrating these same concepts into a fully procedural workflow. In general, Ryan's channel has a ton of great procedural material videos, so go ahead and check him out if you find yourself drawn to that procedural node-based workflow. Also, if you want a ton of really advanced tutorials that go far beyond level three, stick to the end of the video and I'll show you where you can find those. Anyways, let's go on to animation. There are so many good animation tutorials that I really struggled narrowing it down, but I found eight that I think are the best. For level one, I have two tutorials. Unlike all the other tutorials up to this point, I would only pick one of these to go through, but I figured I'd tell you about both so you can decide which one speaks to you. The first one is by a very familiar face at this point. Ryan King Art has an awesome beginner animation tutorial that goes through most of the basic concepts of animation and explains them very well. The second option is by C. Bailey Film. It also teaches beginner animation and goes through the basic concepts. He has an awesome channel that is super underrated, so make sure you go check him out. Both of these videos are awesome, so you can't go wrong with either one of them, so just choose the one that interests you more. All right, let's go ahead and move on to level two. The first video for level two is another tutorial by C. Bailey Film. In this one, you get to apply everything you just learned in the last video and create your own animation. This animation is a little bit more complex than the one that you made at level one. It's definitely a great next step. He does a great job at explaining everything you're doing and also explaining why. So you can take all this information outside of just the tutorial and apply it to the rest of your art. For the other two videos in level two, I have two videos by Polyfjord. These are both awesome. First, he teaches a simple rigging workflow. Rigging is an essential part of animation, but it's also really complex. This video breaks it down in a really easy way to understand. Second is a tutorial that teaches you how to animate this. It's awesome for teaching the fundamentals of character animation. I remember making this personally. This was the first tutorial I ever followed after making the donut. Polyfjord's channel is what really got me excited about Blender in the first place. So definitely explores other stuff as well. Finally, let's move on to level three. For this level, I have another mini course. This one is by Peter France, and it teaches you how to make this Spider-Man animation. He does an awesome job in making a complex animation, simple and easy to follow. This is a three-part tutorial series that'll let you apply everything you've learned so far and make something really cool. If you ever feel burned out, Following a tutorial like this is a great way to rekindle your passion. It lets you make something really awesome without you having to think a lot. These sorts of videos are perfect for when you're tired, you still have a lot of energy to be creative, but you still get to make something really cool and learn a lot of information. That wraps up the three levels of animation and it rounds out our three major categories, modeling, texturing, and animation. So let's go ahead and move into the information that's going to set you above the competition that a lot of people can't do. First is environment design. I found four awesome tutorials that teach you through both the theory of environment design and the actual tools to make it happen. First is a video by CG Boost that takes you through 10 key principles 
of environment creation. These are things that I often overlook without even thinking about it, even though I've worked in Blender for years now. This definitely deserves a watch. Next, we have another CG Boost video that talks about how we actually create large-scale environments. It takes you through his workflow and gives you insights into how a professional environment artist tackles the process of creation. Third, we have a video by Max Hay that shows you how to create depth, which is one of the most overlooked aspects of environment art for beginners. Max has an awesome channel focusing specifically on environment creation. So if you find yourself drawn towards that, make sure you check out his channel. Finally, we have another video by Max Hay. This one's kind of a blender staple at this point. He shows you the major ideas and the theory behind creating environments. It's definitely worth your time. With that, we have six videos left on this list. All of these I would consider blender staples. They are the cream of the crop, the best tutorials. Similar to how the donut tutorial everybody watches, everyone should watch these as well. First is a video by Blender Guru on color. I remember watching this for the first time. It had so much information on color packed into just over 20 minutes. It's a must watch if you're serious about becoming a 3D artist. In the same vein as his color video, he also gave a talk posted on Blender's official channel about realism. This isn't a tutorial, but rather it takes you through the major philosophies of realism, which is in my opinion even more valuable. Another important area inside of Blender is geometry nodes. I have two different tutorials and a playlist that'll take you through those. Arendelle is at the cutting edge of geometry nodes. He has a ton of awesome videos about them on his channel, but he has two in particular that stand above the rest. First is his most popular video, creating a hexagon world. This is really fun and exciting to follow along, and it gives you great insights into how geometry nodes work. His other tutorial shows how to create an endless flight loop with only geometry nodes. It's great, and it, along with every other video mentioned so far, is in the description. Finally, for geometry nodes, I wanna mention Ducky3D. He has a playlist of 34 geometry nodes tutorials. There's a ton of content. I haven't watched them all, but every tutorial of his that I followed is super informative and pretty intuitive as well. His tutorials are generally catered towards more the beginner side of 3D artists, so I would definitely give those a watch if you're just starting out with geometry nodes. My last two recommendations are for visual effects, specifically motion tracking and green screen work. They are both by Ian Hubert. I've mentioned him several times on this channel. He's awesome. You should watch all of his work, but specifically these two. I have yet to find a video that explains motion tracking as well as Ian's tutorial does. After watching it, it finally just clicked. His green screen video is awesome, especially because he uses green screens in a way that no one else really does. Using the tips in his video, he was able to create the Dynamo Dream series, which is also going kind of viral. Before you leave, I have one more video we need to talk about. Robin Squares made a video showcasing the best tutorials for advanced 3D artists. That's originally what gave me the idea for this video, so a huge shout out to him. I just wanted mine to be catered towards newer users rather than the advanced side of 3D artists. But if you're already more advanced or you just want to have a game plan for the next couple years, make sure you watch that video as well. Also, make sure you subscribe to all of these creators. They definitely deserve it. They're awesome and they put in a ton of work. And if you enjoyed this video, it took a lot of effort so you can leave a like. And you should subscribe if you want to see more content like this in future. Thank you for watching.